El Dorado, subtitled as a symphony by the Electric Light Orchestra, is the fourth studio album by the Electric Light Orchestra (ELO). It was released in the United States in September 1974 by United Artists Records and in the United Kingdom in October 1974 by Warner Brothers Records. Topic: Concept El Dorado is the first complete ELO concept album. Bandleader Jeff Lynn conceived the storyline before he wrote any music. The plot follows a Walter Mitty like character who journeys into fantasy worlds via dreams, to escape the disillusionment of his mundane reality. Lynn began to write the album in response to criticisms from his father, a classical music lover, who said that Electric Light Orchestra's repertoire had no tune. The influence of the Beatles is prevalent, especially in the melody of the verse of Mr. Kingdom, which to some degree resembles the Beatles' Across the Universe. Topic. Recording El Dorado marks the first album on which Jeff Lynn hired an orchestra. On previous albums, Lynn would overdub the strings. Lewis Clark Co. arranged, with Lynn and keyboardist Richard Tandy, and conducted the strings. The group's three resident string players continued to perform on recordings, however, and can be heard most prominently on the songs, Boy Blue, and Laredo Tornado. Mike de Albuquerque departed early on in the recording process, as touring made him feel separated from his family. Lynn plays most of, if not all, the bass tracks and backing vocals for the album, even though de Albuquerque received credit. Nevertheless, de Albuquerque was involved in some of the released album, if not as prominently as previous albums. Kelly Grocutt replaced de Albuquerque for the subsequent tour, when cellist Melvin Gale also joined. El Dorado Finale is heavily orchestrated much like El Dorado Overture. Jeff Lynne said of the song, I like the heavy chords and the slightly daft ending, where you hear the double bass players packing up their basses, because they wouldn't play another millisecond past the allotted moment. Topic. Release, reception and aftermath Can't Get It Out of My Head was released as a single with Illusions in G Major, as the B-side, and was a success in the U.S. An edited version of Boy Blue was released as the album's second single, but failed to make any commercial impact. The album was certified gold in the United States soon after its release. The album and singles, however, failed to find a wide audience in the band's native United Kingdom. In 1978, the filmmaker Kenneth Anger re-released his 1954 film Inauguration of the Pleasure Dome, using El Dorado as the soundtrack. In July 2010, the album was named one of Classic Rock magazine's 50 albums that built prog rock. On June 17, 2015, the album was ranked number 43 on Rolling Stone's 50 Greatest Prog Rock Albums of All Time. Topic. Track listing All tracks written by Jeff Lynne Topic Personnel Jeff Lynne, lead and backing vocals, electric and acoustic guitars, bass, Moog, production, orchestra and choral arrangements Bev Bevan, drums, percussion Richard Tandy, piano, Moog, clavinet, Wurlitzer electric piano, guitar, backing vocals, orchestra and choral arrangements Mike de Albuquerque, bass and backing vocals, credited, departed during the recording of the album Mike Edwards, cello Mick Kaminsky, violin Hugh McDowell, cello additional personnel Peter Forbes Robertson, spoken word Lewis Clark, orchestra and choral arrangements and conducting Al Quaglieri, reissue producer, 2001. Topic. Chart positions U.S. Number 16 Cashbox, Number 16 Billboard 200, Billboard Year End Number 31, 1975. 
UK, did not chart on its own when first released, but reached number 38 in 1978 as part of the 3LP box set, Three Light Years. House, number 40 Aria Albums Chart, 14 Weeks. Can, number 7 RPM Albums Chart, 28 Weeks.